Hello, and welcome to Preschool Storytime with me, Miss Katie, and my assistant, Maggie. We have a lot of fun stuff planned today, but first, let's stretch. Can you stretch up really high? Good, way up to the ceiling. Nice. Can you stretch over to the side like this and wiggle those fingers? And stretch way over to the other side. Good. And now put your hands in the middle and stretch out like this. And give yourself a big hug. Good job. Good job, everyone. Let's see. We need to sing our welcome song, but first let's see if you brought everything we need. Did you bring your hands today? Let's see those hands. Good. Do your hands work? Can they wave? Can your hands clap? Oh, great, they do. Did you remember to bring your feet today? Let's see those feet. Oh, good, do your feet work? Let's stomp. I think they're working. All right, we are ready to sing our welcome song. Let's get those hands ready to clap. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello with our friends at story time. We clap and sing hello. All right, can we wave? We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello with our friends at story time. We wave and sing hello. And now we have to do our feet. We're gonna stomp. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Before we get started, I just want to remind everyone of the five early literacy practices. That would be singing, talking, reading, writing, and playing. And to all you big people out there with little people, encourage those kids to play. That's how they learn. Play with your child to promote a close relationship, and then you can model the behaviors that are important to you. Today we're talking about pets. Try playing with the stuffed animals and showing what it means to care for a pet. That would be fun. Now, something that I like to do a lot is sing the ABCs for practice. Will you help me sing the ABCs? Mm -hmm. You're gonna help me too? Mm -hmm. All right, ready? <clears throat> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? That was so good. Give me five. Oh, high fives all around. That was awesome. Thank you, guys. Now, when Miss Sarah was doing story time, she would teach you a sign every week. And I thought that was such a cool idea. Today, we're talking about pets. So I want to show you the sign for pet. Okay, you need to put your arm out like this. Just one arm. And then take your other hand and pet your hand. Just like you're petting a puppy or a kitty, very gently. That's the sign for pet. Nice job. Okay, the first book that I would like to read to you is called What Pet to Get. Um, <laughs> why don't you come right here? What Pet to Get by Emma Dodd. She's a great author. What pet to get? Let's get a pet, said Jack one day. I promise I'll look after it. If you'd like, dear, replied his mother absentmindedly. What pet should we get? What pet would you get? Um, what would you get? A puppy. That's a great pet. That's not a puppy. Jack thought about it for a little while. 
I think we should get an elephant, he announced. I could ride it to school. An elephant would be nice, dear, said Mom, but not very practical. How would we take it on vacation? It's a good point, right? Well, on the roof rack, of course, said Jack. I don't think so, dear, said Mom. It might squash the car. Hmm. Maybe not an elephant, then, said Jack. Ooh. What about a lion, he said. I'd remember to feed it every day. That would be super, dear, replied Mom. But lions do have very big appetites. That means they eat a lot of food. And anyway, it would frighten the mail carrier. Hmm, I hadn't thought of that, said Jack. Look at all those sharp teeth. And you know what? I think I see the mail carrier's legs right here. He's running away. Jack thought some more. Do you know what this is? I think we should get a polar bear, he said. It would make a great playmate. It looks like they're playing fetch. The polar bear has a stick in his mouth. A polar bear would be lovely, dear, replied his mother. But I don't think it would like the central heating. Hmm. I suppose not, agreed Jack. Polar bears like it when it's cold, right? Uh-oh, what's this? A dinosaur. Jack thought some more. What pet to get? Could we get a Tyrannosaurus Rex? He asked. I could take it for walks. Is that a good idea? That would have been a great idea, dear, replied Mom. But unfortunately, the Tyrannosaurus Rex has been extinct for 65 million years. Look. Wow. What a shame, said Jack. What about a giraffe? Too tall. A rhino? Too wide. A bison? Too smelly. What about a crocodile? Too snappy. What is this? Shark. A shark. I suppose a shark is out of the question. Yes, dear, sighed Mom. Perhaps you could try to think of something a little less exotic. My puppy over here. That would be a good idea. Early the next morning, Jack announced, I've got it! Let's get a dog! Yeah, I am right. Yeah, you were right. That is an excellent idea, dear, said Mom. We'll go this morning and choose a lovely little puppy. Does he look little? Yeah. Does he look lovely? Looks kind of scary. And kind of big. But I think that's a nice choice. A dog is a good choice, right? Mm hmm. Now I have a guessing game for you. I'm going to give you some clues and you get to guess what pet I'm talking about and whether or not it's a good pet. Let's see, my first clue is an animal that swims. Yeah, you can't tell us. This animal, this animal has fins instead of feathers or fur. This animal could live a in a shark? bowl. It's a not shark. a shark. I have... A whale? What's this? A fish? A fish! 
this is a very big fish. Would a fish be a good pet? I think so. I think a fish is a good pet. No, it would be big. Well, it wouldn't have to be this big. This is just the fish that we have at home. The next animal I'm thinking of has lots of fur, and it's very cuddly. Is she? Listen to the clues. This animal has whiskers. A teeth? Do you know what I'm talking about? A teeth? A kitty. Kitties are good pets, right? Can you meow like a kitty? Meow, 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 meow. meow. Good, good. Meow. Let's see. The next animal I'm thinking of can fly. A bird? No. This animal... And a bee? Oh, this animal breathes fire. What? What could I be talking about? What flies? A dragon. A dragon! Ah! Would a dragon be a good pet? I don't think so. No, because it breathes fire. It breathes fire. It wouldn't be a good pet. Can you roar like a dragon? Roar! A much bigger roar than that. Roar! roar! Yeah! Dragon would not be a good pet. The other animal I'm thinking of has lots of fur, loves to play. This animal has a tail and it wags its tail when it's happy. A Not a kitty. A puppy? It is a puppy. Would a puppy be a good pet? I think so. Can you bark like a puppy? Boop, boop. Woof, 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 woof. Oh. Good. What about, oh, this animal likes water and land. This animal moves very slowly. Is it a dinosaur? No. This animal has a hard shell on its back. Do you know what this animal is? A crab? No. Is it a shell? I'm thinking of... A turtle? A turtle! Can you move very slowly like a turtle? <laughs> Would a turtle be a good pet? Yeah, a turtle could be a good pet. I'm thinking of an animal that is very still. It's bold. Actually, this isn't even an animal. A bun? Quiet and listen to directions. Okay. Something very still, something very hard. Quiet, quiet. You don't have to feed this guy. This this thing doesn't drink any water. What could I be talking about? A bun? A pet rock. Would a pet rock be a good pet to have? Mm -mm. It might be. There's zero responsibility. And let's do another one. This animal I'm thinking of has lots of fur. Um, this animal likes to eat carrots. This animal jumps all around. It is a bunny. Can you hop like a bunny? Hop, hop, hop. Whoa, hop, hop, hop. Good hopping. And one more. This animal can be lots of colors. This animal has bird? lots of feathers. Is a bird? And it flies. Is Maybe do you know? A bird. A bird. Would a bird be a good pet? Yes. Yes. Can you fly like a bird? Bye, bye, bye. Very bye, bye. good. All right, you did an excellent job at my guessing game. Now I have a song for you. It's a silly song about lots of different animals. So if you have a stuffed animal around, or a blanket, or something fun to put on your head, then you can help us sing this song. Or you can just dance along. Okay, ready? One. We're gonna listen to Pig on Her Head by the Lori Berkner Band. Look 
over here. Kind of a funny song, isn't it? That was a great song. We have one more book to read. I like it. This book is called If I Had a Griffin. Have you ever heard of a griffin? This book is about lots of different pretend animals. Let's read If I Had a Griffin by Vicki Van Sickle. Whoa, if I had a griffin, that's a big animal. Would that be a good pet? Oh, last week I got a hamster, my first and only pet. He mostly eats and sleeps and hides and gets his shavings wet. Seems kind of boring, but that would be a good pet to have. <laughs> if only I could have a pet with strange exotic powers, I know that I'd find lots to do to while away the hours. Oh my goodness, look at all these. <gasps> Ooh. If I had a unicorn, I'd braid her silky mane. I'd make her silver horseshoes that tinkled in the rain. We'd prance through fields of posies and nibble nectarines. I'd shine her horn with candy corn to get a starry sheen. Would you like to have a unicorn for a pet? Yeah! Mm-hmm. Unicorns are pretty, but they're also very shy. Do you ever feel shy? Yeah, look at this unicorn is hiding. On second thought, I'd like to give a hippogriff a try. Look at this hippogriff. A hippogriff needs lots to do like run and fetch and jump. <laughs> run and jump and fetch. I take him to the dog park to give his wings a stretch. Oh, he looks excited. <gasps> oh boy, though a hippogriff is tons of fun, the dogs might find him scary. 
And when it comes to playing ball, well, things could get quite hairy. Oh, the dogs do look scared. What do you look like when you're scared? Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I'll get a Sasquatch with burly curly fur. But then I'd spend three hours a day attacking snarls and burrs. Just brushing his hair. If I had a griffin, I'd love each flashing feather. But she needs flying every day, regardless of the weather. Even when it's raining. Would it be fun to fly something in the rain? Not always. If I had a kraken, we'd swim and deep sea dive. But I would need a scuba suit in order to survive. Um, if I had a dragon with a temperamental snout, I'd need a fire extinguisher to put her sneezes out. That would not be good, right? Uh -uh. It'd be fire all the time. Kira needs a field of grass at least an ocean wide. That's a lot of grass. Jackalope needs sturdy reins for bumpy, jumpy rides. Phoenix needs a chimney nest that's smoke and fireproof. Manticore needs special floss for each and every tooth. Harpies are too screechy. Chupacabras like to bite. Fairies play too many tricks and Kelpies hate the light. Basilisk is slippery. Chimera likes to scratch. Mermaids brush their hair all day and sprites are hard to catch. These don't sound like good pets, right? Perhaps a hamster is not so bad. In fact, he's rather sweet. I love his furry belly and his teeny tiny feet. He may not be a griffin or a creature from the sea, but I am his and he is mine, and that's enough for me. Mom, look at this The thing. end. <laughs> now he looks like one of those animals in the book, right? That's kind of silly. <laughs> All right, well, we are just about done. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to sing our goodbye song, but first, will you help me sing Zoom, Zoom, Zoom? Okay, remember how to do Zoom, Zoom, Zoom? We need to clap, okay? I'm gonna move my chair. We're going to go Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll be there very soon. In five, four, three, two, one, and boom! Best of! Okay, one more time. Wanna do it one more time? We have to be very quiet. Okay, we're gonna crouch down quietly. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll be there very soon. In five, four, three, two, one, and blast off! All right, nice job. Now we're going to say goodbye. We're going to tickle the clouds way up high. Tickle, tickle, tickle. And tickle your toes way down low. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Clap your hands and tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. 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 Have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> Hi, Mama.